This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Polls closed in the federal election last night, and as best we can tell right now, as I'm recording, it's about 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning. It looks like we're going to be in for a long count in a close election. Now, I know that this is not the outcome that many of us hoped for, and that there's a lot of concern about what this means for our country and our families going forward. This is very, very real. And what's also real is this. The church remains dedicated to the same things that we were dedicated to on Monday. This thing we do of building religious community grounded in love and justice, that is a generational project. So whatever the eventual result of the election, it will not change what we know to be true, that we are interconnected, that each have inherent worth and dignity, that faith and reason are complementary, not competitive. We have been saying that for the last four years we have been saying that for the last 150 years, and we will continue to say it and proclaim it during a Biden presidency or a second Trump term. And that is not to say that it will be easy. The important things never are. This is not a country that sees the statement Black Lives Matter as uncontroversial yet this is not a country that has really grappled with the consequences of the climate crisis yet. And this is a country where, at least for some, at least right now, the cruelty is the point. But in being a part of this community, of saying in the midst of all of this that, that we are and we remain a people of faith, you join with thousands, hundreds of thousands of people across the country and the generations working to bring a more just and joyful world. There's a quote that floats around religious circles. It's often attributed to the Talmud. It doesn't quite appear there, um, but it's, it looks like it's a mashup of Micah 6, 8 and Rabbi Shapiro's commentary on Rabbi Tarfan. But regardless of the actual etymology, it's, it's the quote that I find myself holding fast to this morning. Do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. Do justly now. Love mercy now. Walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to abandon it. As a practical announcement, there are many, many ways to process significant events. My parents are staying with Stacy and I riding out the pandemic as a pod of four. And all four of us are processing this morning in different ways. Some, some want to talk, some take time alone, some dive into work. All of these responses are right and good. So in thinking about what we're going to do as a church, over the next week. We want to recognize that diversity of reactions. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, today from 1 to 3 p.m. and from 7 to 9 p.m., I will be hosting drop-in pastoral care time on Zoom. And this won't be programmed time. So come when you can, uh, anytime in those time blocks. Uh, be with other people. Maybe listen to some music. And we're going to do that again tomorrow uh, from 1 to 3 as well. The Zoom link is in the e-blast you should receive about the time this video goes live. Second, tomorrow night the Unitarian Universalist Association is holding a formal nationwide vigil. Reverend Susan Frederick Gray, the president of the UUA, is speaking. Reverend Sophia Betancourt, uh, Reverend Ashley Horan, and the rest of the UU The Vote team are part of organizing it. It's a chance to be with thousands of people in our community across the country. 
That link is also in your eBlast. Third, if you're a person who processes via the written word, uh, I certainly am, um, think about writing down how you're feeling today and then sending it as an email to pastoralcare at unitarianlincoln.org. And then let us know if you'd like a response or if you're just sending reflections for having the sake uh, for the sake of having them written down. And then lastly, um, if you want to set up a time to chat with me, uh, there's a link to um, to Calendly, the, the scheduling software um, in the eBlast as well. Uh, you can also go directly to Calendly slash Reverend Sinclair. I'll put that in this video. Love endures. We said that yesterday and we will we'll say it tomorrow. We'll say it 10 years from now. This is a difficult week in a difficult season in a difficult year. But we do not join churches for the times when things are easy. We join them for this moment right now. Be well, stay safe, and stay connected.